Good morning everyone and welcome to the morning tales for June 15, 2019. I know today and tomorrow there is NABAT exam and I believe that you are very well prepared for the examination. Good luck to all of you who all are going for the examination. Just don't think much about it. Go and give the best in your examination and don't worry about the results. Now let's begin with the morning tales. So the first question is who has been conferred with the 54 Gyanpeet award? So for the first time the Gyanpeet award has been given in the English language and it has been honored to Amita Ghosh. So we can say that the first writer who has been honored with the Gyanpeet award in English language is Amita Ghosh. Now if we talk about the Gyanpeet award so this award is considered as the highest literary award in India and not only this this award carries a cash prize of 11 lakh rupees. Also if we are talking about the highest literary prize of India then it is only given to the Indian citizen and not even given posthumously so this means that the highest literary award of India that is Gyanpeet award it is just given to the Indian citizens if we talk about the first winner of the Gyanpeet award so he was awarded in so first time it was instituted in 1961 and the first winner of the Gyanpeet award is G.S. Kuru, who is a famous Malayalam writer. It's important to just take care of these small details at these as these static questions can come in the examination. And if we talk about these options given over here, so these all are the recipients of Gyanpeet Award. And this time for 254th one, the Amitav Ghosh has been honored with this award. Moving on to the next question so who has been conferred with the highest national award of Kyrgyzstan now the highest national award of Kyrgyzstan it is known as the manas order of the first degree so manas order of first degree is the highest national award of Kyrgyzstan and it has been honored to Xi Jinping now what you need to mention in the comment section below that what is the capital of Kyrgyzstan so tell me in the comment section the capital and in fact the currency of kyrgyzstan so apart from this what uh, static questions can come that what is the capital and currency of kyrgyzstan so i hope it's clear that manas order of first degree which is the highest national award of kyrgyzstan it has been honored to the chinese president moving on to the next question so which two banks have been included in the second schedule of the rbi act 19 34 so recently as per the rbi notification two banks have been included under the second schedule of the rbi act 1934 and these banks are fincare small finance bank limited and cookman bank so these two banks can now issue certificates of deposits or we can say that that these two banks are now the scheduled banks of india and they can perform the functions of all the authorized scheduled banks so they can issue certificates of deposit they can have access to interbank borrowings also they can get the deposits from the new sources such as the government or the public sector undertaking the corporate the mutual fund so what all function which are being prescribed regarding the scheduled banks now these can be performed by the fincare small finance bank and the cookman bank as they have been included in the second schedule of rbi act 1930 four so it's important to note the names of these banks as recently they will work as a scheduled bank of india so next question is who has been honored with the global leadership awards 2019 so for this award two people will be honored the first one will be sundar pichai who is the google ceo so ceo of google would be honored with this global leadership award and another award would be presented to adina friedman so she is the nasdaq president so one static question that who is the current president of nasdaq so the current president is adina friedman now sundar pichai and C, uh, adina friedman they would be honored with this global leadership award and they will be honored during the uh, india ideas summit so this india ideas summit would be held where they would be honored with this global leadership award so these questions are very important with respect to the examination these important these awards are considered important for every examination and when they involves the indians 
out of it therefore it becomes important to remember the names as well so do remember that sundar pichai and adina friedman they have been honored or they will be soon honored with the global leadership award the next question and quite interesting question so which article is associated with the president's rule now first of all why is it important to learn about the president's rule so the reason being that recently the union cabinet which was chaired by uh, prime minister narendra modi they have approved the extension of the president's rule in the state of jammu and kashmir so jammu and kashmir is again under the president rule now which article actually governs this president rule now first of all let's discuss about each one of these articles and then we'll find out the answer of this question so if we talk about the article 21 a so article 21 a the most common article and the most important one so article 21 a is related to the right to education so right to education comes under the article 21 a so we talk about the next article that is article 352 so it governs the national emergency in the country so right to education with respect to article 20 so these are some of the very important articles do remember about these articles next one is the article 17 article 17 talks about the abolition of untouchability so abolition of untouchability comes under the article 17 next is the article 51 a very famous and very important so it talks about the fundamental duties of the citizens of india and the last article which is the answer of this question as well so article 356 tells about the president's rule so it's important these are some of the very important article that everyone should know and question can come on this so when we are talking about the constitution of india no doubt the question can come on these articles so if we talk about this president rule so this can only be extended for a maximum period of 6 months at a time so if we talk about the at a time imposition so it ta- it takes into consideration only 6 months and after this period it can be extended for another term but this another term is just maximum for 3 years so keep these things in mind regarding the president rule as well the next question is so very straight forward question and he is the most popular person if we talk about football in india so if we talk about the uh, footballers and we are talking about the international footballers then lionel messi and cristiano ronaldo are the two famous names if we talk about the football in india then it becomes self explanatory and it's very easy to guess the answer most of the time so now the question is who has become the most capped footballer of india having played 108 international matches So Sunil Chhetri is just one match away from being the most capped footballer of India and he has played approximately 10 international matches after completing one match. Now there is some confusion in this question so when we are talking about the uh, 107 matches so 108 matches so after Sunil Chhetri completes one more match he will be the most capped footballer of India. When we are talking about 107 matches so his mentor Bhaijum Bhutia is the answer who is currently the most co- capped footballer in mood footballer in India that is with 107 matches after completing one more match Sunil Chhetri would be the answer for this 108 international matches moving on to the next question so which of the following statement is true about the new prudential framework on for the resolution of stressed assets so recently RBI has come up with this uh, new prudential framework and this new prudential framework has some resolution so you need to choose the correct statement so let's read each one of these so this new framework has also included small banking finance and nbfcs along with the banking system so when we are talking about the resolution of stressed assets this is absolutely true that the new framework is going to include small finance bank and nbfcs as well Next and the most important one, so it allows the lenders to initiate legal proceeding against the defaulters within 30 days. So earlier this default date was one day, and now it has been extended to 30 days of default. Next one is it provides a greater degree of flexibility to banks for resolving the NPAs. 
so earlier it was one day so it was quite difficult for bankers to uh, resolve the resolve their npa status but as now they have been the defaulters have been given 30 days status or 30 days time period therefore it is kind of a flexibility to banks for resolving their npas next is rbi circle also in nsecated singing signing of the intercreditor agreement so this is also correct so if we talk about the correct statements regarding this framework so all these given statements are correct with respect to the new resolution for the stressed assets the framework which has been released by rbi moving on to the next question so very straightforward question and quite important as well so with which ministry has sebi signed an mou to tackle the increasing corporate frauds quite easy to answer this question so the ministry of corporate affairs and sebi they have come up in uh, to sign an mou where they would these uh, two regulatory organizations would be playing their role to tackle the increasing crop corporate fraud so this came in the context uh, context of the corporate fraud which are affecting the important sectors of the economy so as we know that these private sectors plays an increasingly important role in the economic growth therefore there was this need for the robust uh, corporate governance mechanism and they have come up to sign an mou to tackle these increasing corporate frauds along with this a data exchange so data exchange steering group has been constituted along with this mou so that they could assist or they will be meeting periodically to review the data exchange status which takes place between the companies and they would suggest some steps to improve the effectiveness of data sharing mechanism so these all information is this all information is important regarding this mou as well apart from these the name of the entities now it's time for you to comment first of all it's very motivating for us if you just like the video and subscribe to the channel so when we see the appreciation from your side then it motivates us to come up with better content so do subscribe and like the video and now it's time for you to answer the question so when is the world blood donor day observed very important question and the theme for this 2019 world blood donor day is blood donation and universal access to safe blood transfusion so this is the theme blood duration and universal access to safe blood transfusion it's important to remember the theme as well so you need to mention your answers in the comment section that when is this world blood day do blood donor day observed so do tell us the, your answers and do not forget to subscribe to our channel and like the video as well also do not forget to subscribe and press the bell by icon so this bell icon helps in receiving the notification when the video is being posted i hope you have revised the uh, current affairs as they are going to play very important role in the nabard examination when we are talking about the general awareness section esi section and ard section also if you have any query you can contact us on this number as well or you can mail us thank you so much for watching the video stay tuned for the next video